Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. Sometimes there is just so much news of which Saturday Night Live wants to make fun the NBC late night sketch show needs to cram a lot of commentary into one sketch. Thankfully, earlier in season 46 they found a way to do so, with Oops You Did It Again, a fictional talk show hosted by Britney Spears played by Chloe Fineman that examines the week's pariahs to determine if they're not that innocent. And on the April 3rd show they brought it back with to weigh in on Lil Nas X, Pepe Le Pew and Republic. Matt Gates. Chris Redd portrayed the musician, who Feynman Spears noted drew criticism from both the Catholic Church and Nike this week after the debut of his Montero Call Me By Your Name music video and shoe collaboration that contains human blood. Red's Lil Nas X confirmed there really is a drop of blood in each pair of shoes but said, I really don't know why Nike's so mad. Their whole thing is, just do it. Well, I did it. Speaking about the music video, Feynman Spears pointed out that people have complained that, in it, he rides a stripper pole to hell and then twerks on the devil. People are close-minded idiots, he replied. People are afraid of me because I'm different, but really I'm just your typical gay, black, country, rap sneaker entrepreneur. I put my pants on like everyone else. One ass less chap at a time. He also addressed those who are mad that he gave Satan a lap dance by saying, you know that wasn't the real Satan, right? And when Feynman Spears asked if he would be willing to give God a lap dance, to even things out, he agreed. Mikey Day as God then joined them on set. Happy Easter, everyone, Feynman Spears exclaimed. Kate McKinnon portrayed Pepe Le Pew, who said she was originally supposed to be in the new Space Jam, because any good basketball film needs a horny skunk. My part was, I see a basketball in a blonde wig and I make love to it for 10 to 15 minutes before LeBron James taps me on the back and says, bro, that's a basketball. Responding to claims the character promotes a culture of assault, McKinnon's Le Pew said, I'm an actor. The part you see me play on TV and in the movies, that's not me. I would love to be at a point in my career where I could turn down projects, but there's not a lot of parts for an old French skunk. The parts come down to me and Gerard Depardieu, and if you think I am the problem, I have two words for you. Speedy Gonzalez and you didn't hear this from me but the FBI is 99% sure Yosemite Sam was at the Capitol riots. The final guest, for whom Feynman Spears said to keep your hands apart, not clapping was Sex Pest Gates, played by Pete Davidson. Who are you again, she asked, before saying his story is so incredibly Florida and bizarre she needed to get things clarified. You were dating a 17-year-old and brought her on trips along state lines? Prostitutes said you took ecstasy and had sex with them in Florida hotel rooms? And your Republican colleagues in Congress say you showed them nude photos of women you were sleeping with?